Hi Pisces, Sun Rising and Venus, and welcome to your general reading for February 2023. I'll be taking a look at your past, present, future, as well as some other good stuff. Please keep in mind that this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and see what happened in the recent past for the sign of Pisces. Recent past for the sign of Pisces, please. Recent past for the sign of Pisces. Recent past for the sign of Pisces. Right. Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles in reverse here. Some of you could have been dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm also picking up on Gemini here. So Pisces, a lot of confusion here. All right. You could have been feeling confused in the past. Maybe about a love situation or of what direction to go. Okay, I feel like there was a lack of direction here. You were feeling confused. Could have very much been about a family situation, okay, or about a commitment. Feeling very confused. I feel like you pulled back your energy as far as emotions, investing in a situation, investing in a connection. A lot of holding back energy. Let's see. Please clarify here the Seven of Cups, kind of just Holy Spirit. The judgment in reverse. Yeah, this could have a lot to do with a decision. Not knowing what decision to make. Okay, keep in mind this is a general reading. Could be in regards to work, you know, finances, family, love, relationships. But for some of you, this could very much be about a marriage. I feel that some of you were feeling unsure of maybe whether to get married, whether to get a divorce, whether to stay in a connection, in a relationship, um, you know, living with someone, whatever it may be here, uh, feeling confused as to what to do here. For some of you, there was no reconciliation in the past. You or someone could have rejected that. But yeah, a lot of confusion here when it comes to a commitment. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups in Reverse. Knight of Cups in Reverse for Pisces. Why is it here? The High Priestess, here you are, Pisces energy. I feel like there was something that you were not seeing clearly, okay? You were you were having a hard time figuring someone or something out. I feel like maybe your intuition was telling you something here, Pisces, about a situation. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles and reverse. Yeah, Eight of Swords, feeling really trapped, stuck in a situation. Not seeing clearly here, not knowing what to choose. Could very much be... In regards to something that was just not fair, it's not balanced, it's not equal. Maybe a legal situation for some of you. Libra energy with the Justice card here. You could have been feeling breadcrumb, like things are not fair, things are not equal. Maybe someone was giving more than the other. Maybe someone was providing more than the other financially. Let's go ahead and move on to your current energies, Pisces. Current energies for the sign of Pisces, please. What's going on right now with Pisces? Current energies for Pisces. Current energies for Pisces. King of Cups in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. Strong fire energy and water here. And Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah. King of Swords here in the upright. I feel like right now you could be dealing with someone here, either a really crappy boss or a coworker, someone around your energy. It could be a family member. Strong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But again, I'm seeing water and air here, so the sign doesn't really matter. I feel like right now you are holding back Pisces and expressing emotion, expressing any type of feelings here because I feel like you don't trust someone here. This person may be inconsistent. It could be very in and out. Maybe they... False promises I'm picking up on as well. You could be feeling like this person lies or, you know, that they could be cheating or talking to other people. I feel like you don't trust someone here. Tell me more about this King of Cups in reverse for Pisces. Eight of Cups, that flew out. Some of you are contemplating of walking away. Some of you could have already walked away from a specific job or person family member i see you turning your back on someone or something here pisces tell me about the king of wands or at least this is you contemplating it if you haven't already done so 
King of Wands in reverse. Why is it here? Why is the King and the Knight of Wands here in reverse? Can you just Holy Spirit give me clear messages? Nine of Swords. Okay. So yeah, this this energy is pretty heavy, guys. Okay, I feel that. I feel like right now you're you're feeling upset. You're feeling disappointed, having anxiety, losing sleep over this, not knowing what direction to go, what where to go, what to do in the situation. Some of you are wanting to start over, take a risk, have a new beginning. Tell me more. I feel like this person is like making you feel some type of way, not in a positive way. Tell me more. Current energies for Pisces, please. Can just Holy Spirit? Oh my goodness, yeah. I feel like your mind is all over the place right now, Pisces. Yeah, look at this. Five of Wands, the Magician, the Lovers, all in reverse here. You could be dealing with someone who has strong Gemini in their chart, Aries, Virgo. I feel that there could have been a lot of conflict in the situation or there is a lot of conflict. I feel like some of you don't want to, don't want to argue with this person anymore. You could be feeling like they're very manipulating. Maybe they gaslight, player-like. Maybe this person doesn't know how to make decisions or they make poor decisions. Some of you are afraid to make a bad decision. This could be someone that doesn't think before they talk. Tell me more. Cross watchers, keep in mind this could be vice versa, okay? Current energies for Pisces, please. Current energies for Pisces. Page of Wands in reverse, yeah. For sure this person could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their chart. You know, I feel like... This person is just like you don't trust them. Some of you could live with this individual. This could be like someone that you lived at one point. You had plans of moving in, traveling, getting married, all that kind of stuff. And again, not knowing what direction to go. But I feel like deep down you want to go into a new direction, Pisces. This could be someone who says things um, without thinking. Um, could be a little bit of aggressive here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Things are always back and forth, going in circles, arguments, disputes, family, people getting involved. Oh boy. Let's see. Tell me more. Current energies for the sign of Pisces. What's going on with Pisces right now? What's going on with Pisces right now? What's going on with Pisces? The Hermit. You're taking some time for yourself okay virgo energy with the hermit taking a time out reflecting on everything trying to make the best decision here for yourself some of you may be thinking about moving traveling um you know starting new here but i feel like right now you're really focused on meditating and reflecting on a situation pisces that's not making you happy yeah some of you are contemplating leaving a job leaving a person leaving something behind here for some of you an actual place or home Let's go ahead and see what the future brings here for you. Near future for Pisces, please. Near future for Pisces. Near future for Pisces, please. One more shuffle. Near future for the sign of Pisces, February 2023. God, I'm just Holy Spirit, give me clear messages. Near future for Pisces, February 2023. The strength card, beautiful. Leo energy. Some of you are gaining that strength again. Gaining that energy. Near future for Pisces. Near future for Pisces. Nine of Wands in reverse. Some of you are giving up on a situation here. I feel like you've tried one too many times. Near future for Pisces, near future for Pisces, near future for Pisces. The Justice card in reverse. Yeah, some of you are going to be going um, through a separation, a divorce, or just giving up on something that's just not fair, you know. And for some of you, it could be in the work environment. You feel like, you know what, I put in a lot of time, effort, energy, um, and I'm not getting recognized. I'm not getting that raise. How come I deserve position, promotion, whatever it may be, and you feel like this is just not fair. For some of you, this relationship is toxic, or you feel that this environment, this work environment is toxic, whatever it may be. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, very strong here. Um... You know, it's like you're feeling that things are just not, not okay. Some of you are deciding to speak your mind this month, Pisces. Saying some truths. 
And I feel like you're going to do it in a very straightforward way. I feel like you're cutting somebody off. There's something off here. What can Pisces expect here in the near future? Ten of Wands. Yeah, something here is just too much. That's it. Burning you, okay? A new beginning coming here for you. Ace of Cups. So I do see, a, for those of you single, I see a new love here. This could also talk about something new coming into your life. Okay, a new opportunity. Something that's going to make you very happy. Yeah, I feel like Pisces, you've been holding up tight for quite some time. You've been trying to stay strong. In the near future, I feel like you've just had enough. Had enough of feeling breadcrumb, not appreciated, not valued. Whether that's in a person, whether that's a person, place, or thing here. Tell me more. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Near future for Pisces. In your future for Pisces. Yeah, six of wands. You're going towards your happiness. Victory here for you. All right. I feel like some of you could be meeting a Leo Cancer. All right. You know, I feel like you're going towards your own happiness. Some of you could decide to start dating online. Okay. Or you're just going to be getting a lot of attention here or recognition and somewhere new that you go and put your energy to. So it could be, for example, if you start a new relationship, you will getting the attention. You will be receiving that attention that you deserve. If you're starting a new job, I see you receiving that attention and recognition that you deserve here. But I see you first um, meditating with the hermit, possibly walking away from a situation. I see you having enough. Like I had enough. I keep hearing that and going towards your victory, going towards what's destined for you here. Yeah, I feel like some of you have just had enough. Tell me more. What can Pisces expect? What can Pisces expect? Four more cards. God, angels, Holy Spirit, give me clear messages. What can Pisces expect here, February 2023? The Queen of Cups. I feel like you're tapping into your element here. The Lover's Card in Reverse. Gemini Energy. Page of Cups. You know, I feel like there's a specific Gemini coming through here. For those of you dealing with a Gemini or someone with Gemini in their chart, maybe a Capricorn, who's going to be trying to apologize here, Pisces. But you will be questioning if this apology is genuine. For those of you in a relationship, marriage, I feel like this person doesn't want to lose you. Um, so they might come forward and give you an apology. But I feel like you don't trust this person. You might be questioning if their apology is genuine. So, you know, regardless, I see you being very happy, very ha happy here, um, Pisces. Okay. Nothing here is going to take away your peace, but I will say there is an individual here that's going to try to apologize. All right. Again, could have been someone toxic or a toxic relationship, toxic environment, someone who maybe was manipulating or who had the tendency to lie or make poor decisions. And they're going to give you an apology here, but I, I don't feel like you're going to be questioning it. Okay. Tell me more. One more. What can Pisces expect? February 2023. The hair font, yeah. I feel like someone here, especially those in a commitment or married, this person wants to save the marriage, they want to save the commitment, but some of you already made your decision. You don't want to stay stuck anymore. Some of you may decide to move away. All right, with the chariot, yeah, there's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, maybe Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Scorpio coming your way here to apologize, Aries for some of you. They're rushing in here, try to save this relationship, save the connection. But again, let's see. What advice do you have for Pisces when it comes to this person, this connection relationship? What advice? I need to stay spirit. The hangman. Think about it. Contemplate. Reflect. Really tap into your intuition, Pisces. You know, don't make any impulsive decisions here. The star card. Okay. Follow your dreams. What is it that you want? What is it that makes you happy? And what is destined for you is waiting for you, Pisces. Yeah. Focus on yourself, spirit of saying. Queen of Wands. Focus on yourself, on what makes you happy, okay? Take your time. Let this person prove themselves, if anything. But I would just be careful because you are going to be questioning if their apology is genuine or not. Let's see. What message does the universe have for you, Pisces? Got this Holy Spirit. Give me a clear message for Pisces, February 2023. Also, Pisces, um, please let me know in the comment box below if you would like for me to continue doing general readings or if you would like for me to stick to just love readings. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. Pisces, Pisces, February 2023. God, Holy Spirit, thank you. The number 26, grow belonging. Let's 
go ahead and take a look at what this is all about. The number 26. All right. Grow belonging. A poet once said that you are only free when you realize you belong nowhere because you belong everywhere, which is no place at all. She speaks of what it takes to belong to oneself first and foremost. Now is the moment to cultivate a friendship between you and you, endeavoring to build true belonging within. No one can take your home away when it lives inside of you. Wow, very nice. Let's go ahead and see what angel number comes out here for you, Pisces. You, all, you may have already been seeing this number. If not, pay close attention. The angels are trying to tell you something. Angel number for Pisces, please. Got angel Holy Spirit. Thank you. Wow, I am a creator. The number 000. You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here and on earth. Very nice. Yeah, like I said, some of you are deciding to start from zero because I keep hearing I had enough. So, yeah. And last but not least, let's see what crystal comes out here for you. If you don't have this crystal, it's okay. Feel free to write it down, screenshot it, Google it, see how it can help you manifest this month. Crystal for Pisces. Tiger's eye. All right. I feel like this talks a lot about protection. All right, Pisces. The number 39 may be significant animals solar plexus chakra but all right pisces this was your general reading for february 2023 if it did not resonate feel free to check your other placements thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel and if you haven't already please like comment share subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll talk to you soon bye bye